Hi YouTube, this is Robert Holloway. Um, now, before I start talking about the topic I want to talk about, I have to say a little warning. This video is not for children. So if you're a child and have no parent around you, get the fuck off of this video because I'm about to talk about adult, adult situation. Now, if you're a homophobe, the same applies to you. Get the fuck off this station. In fact, don't watch any of my videos, please. I use YouTube to vent. That's one of my therapist to, um, uh, uh, strategies. But the topic I'd like to talk about is men. Well, actually, one man. The man who took my virginity. My virginity in which I've been holding, holding on for 30 years. Now... I, I wasn't expecting any emotional connection with this guy, so <clears throat> it, it wouldn't be fair for me to vent off of him, but he took my virginity, and it really pisses me off, so I'm going to vent. I'm going to respect him because I wasn't expecting any emotional connection, but let's say that his name is similar to a gemstone you found in the middle of an ocean. Anyways, the topic goes. <coughs> now, I asked this guy to come over my place because I, I wanted to know what it's like to suck dick. And I was tired on lubricating a dildo with my saliva. I wanted the real thing. So I asked him over and uh, we would watch some, you know, adult gay porn together and everything like that. Now, I was nervous, so I didn't get excited or anything like that. I mean, I couldn't get it hard or anything because I was really, really nervous. So, after I did my gig with him and everything like that, and I know he liked it because he moaned like a cat being petted, you know, about sound. Well, he was making that sound, so I know I was doing a good job. <coughs> Anyways, I, well, I, I, the week after that, I asked him to come over because I wanted to have some fun again, you know, and I, and I told him that I would, you know, blow him, and of course, if you're a man, you'll take that, that opportunity, right, right, I mean, if, if you're, if you're gay and the guy wants to just blow you, you'd come over, right, and even if you're straight and a girl tells you that, hey, I want to blow you, you come over to her place, right? Right. So here I am trying to wave this big chunky meat in front of his face. And I'm like, hey, you know, I can offer. I could deliver. Anyways, here I am. I, I, I just got my whole living room section cleaned. I mean, it was beautiful. And I had the TV going. I had the porn ready to go. I had everything going. I even had some chocolate. Because, I, because personally, chocolate gets me happy in so many ways. <clears throat> so I, I was ready for this guy to come over. And I was ready to chew on his, you know, um, muscle. And um, so here I am waiting. And it's like 8 o'clock. And I'm like, oh, maybe he's late for work. You know, late getting off work. So I waited. And then it was ten, 9 o'clock. And I was like, uh, well... I'll just watch a little, you know, comedy. So I put Jeff Dunham, um, Jeff, Jeff Dunham on and watched just a little bit of that. And then 10 and then 11 o'clock came. I'm like, is this guy really coming? I mean, obviously, is he coming over my place? He didn't. And that kind of upset me, you know, and everything like that. And then I, I tried to... T Trying to send him a message through Facebook. This was before Facebook started doing all that shitty stuff on it. And I found out he took me out of his friend list. I'm like, what the fuck? I know I wasn't that bad. Granted, I am a rookie when it comes to going down the pole. But I know he purred. I know he purred. Because I heard him purr. <laughs> what he was doing when I was down on him. So why the fuck was he... Not, why did he take me off of his friends list? What the fuck? I mean... And then I try to call him and he's like, Oh, well, I'm busy. I'm, I'm, I'm working that day. And I was like, okay. 
Well, I'm off the, you know, the, I can't say what day I'm off. I'm off of this day. Can you come over? Oh, I got the church. Church? You told me you're a fucking atheist. Why the fuck are you going to church? What, is this some kind of kink you get? What, is the, are you a Catholic? Is your priest going to do you better than what I did? Fuck you. I got pissed off. And then I tried to write him back on, on um, his email address. And he didn't respond at all. So I, I know he didn't read my mail. You know, here I am. Typing, and I type faster because unlike most men, I use both hands when typing. I type him and said, why are you ignoring me like this? I mean, you're the one who, you're the first person I have ever been with. And I'm not trying to be too emotional because I'm not that emotional. Why the fuck are you... Now I know why some people want to kill people after they've done what they've done to me. Oh boy, was I pissed off. So here I am like, what the fuck, you know? And then I went, I don't get it. If somebody, uh, uh, answer me this, all you gay guys online. If somebody wants to suck your dick, wouldn't you want to come over? Yes? 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 I mean... What the fuck? I mean, I've, I've said things to this guy that it would, I mean, uh, Naked Sword wouldn't have on their videos. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, what the fuck? And it's like, I, I don't know. And the hard part was, I was actually having feelings for this guy. I don't, I just, I don't know. You know what, I just wish I was asexual, that I had no sexual orientation whatsoever, that I'm just being me. But my mom has always told me that when it comes to men, use them, confuse them, abuse them, then lose them. Well, this is what the fuck this guy did to me. <coughs> And if you're that guy watching this video, little FYI, you didn't do a good job.